So now we're ready to go on to Lesson 2, Part 3, where we insert a symbol and change the color of that symbol and add that all to your teddy bear and lettering. Go up to the main menu bar and go to Tools. When you click on that, at the very bottom of the drop-down menu is where it says Insert Symbol. Let's choose that by left-clicking on it. You have an Insert Symbol window that comes up. You also have different fonts or categories to choose from. I'd like you to click on that upside-down arrow and choose the Symbol Font category. Once you have that category chosen, go ahead and use the scroll bar and scroll down until you see a heart. Please left click on the heart and then click insert. Once you click insert, your mouse becomes a plus sign. That plus sign will allow you to place your symbol on the screen. Move the mouse into an empty area in your hoop. It really doesn't matter where because we're going to change and move things around later, so just an empty area. Then you're going to left click and drag. So left click and hold down that left mouse button and drag to the left and see your symbol start to appear. Now notice that as you drag it gets bigger and also if you dip your mouse the angle changes. What I'd like you to do is try to get your mouse in the proper position so your heart is between 2 and 3 centimeters in size and the angle is 0. Once you have that set, go ahead and let go of the left mouse button and that sets your heart. Now if you didn't get your heart exactly the way you wanted it to be, don't worry because you can simply, with it highlighted, now notice my heart is still highlighted, I'm going to click on the delete on my keypad or keyboard and that heart goes away. Heart is still highlighted in the symbol window, click insert again and here's another try. So you can do this as many times as you need. Again, try to get the heart between 2 and 3 centimeters and have your angle at zero. Once you're happy with it, let go of the left mouse button and there's your heart. So now that you've, you're happy with your heart, go ahead and close out of the insert symbol window and move that heart down. It's going to go kind of toward the right side at the end of your text. I'm now going to change the size or move, basically move my teddy bear my letters and my heart to the place I want to save them. I do want to change the teddy bear size. I want to make him just a little bit bigger. So I want to make sure that the rectangle selection is highlighted and then simply left click and drag around the whole teddy bear. And I'm going to scoot him up just a little bit. With that box around the teddy bear, you'll notice as I move my mouse over different places on the box, my mouse changes to different symbols. I'm going to use the right bottom arrow on the box, or the right bottom corner on the box, and it changes into a double arrow. Simply going to left click and drag, and that made my teddy bear just a little bit bigger and I'm going to move him up into the hoop. Now, your teddy bear may be a di little bit different size as well as your lettering and heart because your hoop may be a different size. So you want to make it so it's pleasantly pleasing to you in your hoop. Let's go ahead. I'm going to move my lettering up and to the left just a little bit. And finally, just place my heart at the end of that text. So. I have everything placed where I want it to be in the hoop. I'm now ready to change the color of my heart. To do that, simply click on the heart, go down to your thread palette, and notice, again, that bottom row are the colors that are used in your design. We want to change the color of the heart from blue to a red color. 
So simply move to one of the red colors, the red color that's actually in the design, and left click in the bottom right corner of that color box. And that changed the heart color. Now also notice you have an outline around the heart. That's the pen color. I want to change that to the same color that's the bill of my teddy bear's cap. So I don't want the whole heart to be that color. I only want the outline. So I'm going to use the upper left corner of that color box and left click. And that now has changed my heart, the outline, and the main part of the heart to red and that dark gray. So that's it. We've added letters. We've changed the size. We've even inserted a heart. Go ahead and do that, and then we'll come back and save this, not only as the draw file format, but for your embroidery machine manufacturer as well.